Hey guys, so I came across this alternative method of doing an oil change that doesn't require jacking my car up. So I figured I'd try it out and let you guys know how it goes. The first step is to drive your car around and get it so that the oil is nice and heated up. As you can see, mine is right there. It's fully heated up. Next up, pop the hood. Doesn't that look beautiful? Okay, so what we're looking at here, here's my oil dipstick, right here is my oil filter. So I'm going to unscrew that and pull the oil filter out. I'm going to change it and then I'm going to hook or undo the dipstick, put my oil extraction tube down in there and start sucking the oil out. there. Alright, so right here I've got my oil extractor. It basically just works off of a suction vacuum principle, very similar to a reverse bike pump. So I'm going to put that tube down the dipstick tube and start sucking the oil out. Let's see the oil starting to flow. Just pump it quite a bit and then let it sit and it should suck itself dry. Definitely working. Alright, just about finishing up here. Getting the last little bit of oil out of the filter housing. Okay, so next steps. You take your oil filter and you replace the o-rings on it and then you just pop it back in. So right here we've got the old oil filter and we've got the cap. We've got our new oil filter, new o-ring. Just going to pop off the old one here and then swap it out. There you go. Okay, and this is the most important part. So you take your finger, get a little bit of oil, and you're going to just run it along this little tiny o-ring here. And then you're going to do the same for this new o-ring that we just put on here to get it nice and greased up. That'll help prevent it from drying out and also form a nice good seal when you screw it back on. That's all done. Now we just put it back on there. And we can put that back in. But before we do that, I'm actually going to fill it up a little ways with oil so that it's just going to soak into the filter. And that way it'll be a little bit easier on it and I won't have to go back and double check the oil level quite as much later funnel, got the oil, start filling it up. Okay, on top of the filter housing cap you can see it upside down it says 25 newton meters. So I've got this torque wrench and I'm going to tighten it up to 25 newton meters right there. And then we know it's nice and snugged up but not over tightened. Alright, last step. Check the oil level. Pull your dipstick out, wipe it off, all that last little bit of oil off. Stick it back down in, and pull it out, and check where the shiny part should line up right in the middle of that. So I'm good. And that's it, you're, you're done. So, thoughts on this method? I thought it went pretty smoothly. Definitely gonna be doing it again in the future. I really like not having to jack my car up on stands. I don't have to crawl around on my back and it supposedly gets a little bit more oil out than traditional methods, so I'll have to double check how much I pulled out, but I'm pretty confident this was a good oil change. Thanks guys, have a wonderful afternoon, and enjoy the Super Bowl.